Ndia hii ni mefesi, panari mitengo, panari mauzo. Najita kugobora masompi, kugobora, 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 kuyamba kugida manji, kutipa manji. Panari bemundu. Eee, hii ya muka, hii choka nda chufukwa, karikungu kaja kapa ya na mpamvu, paka doti ija, hii yenda, yenda kwa kupona kuprondo ya wina. So, mchaka chimozi, ni mapeza kuti kusaiti kuina huku, kulibe chakudia. Kusaiti kuina huku, na peza huku pangono, chakudia cha familia yanga. Farming employs 70% of Africa's workforce. But the increasingly small overfarmed plots have been degrading and losing soil fertility, leaving tens of millions of families destitute. For half a century, conventional approaches to research and development have tried to solve these complex problems with limited success. However, these 50 years of research have culminated in the understanding that a radically new approach is needed. An approach that acknowledges that African farmers need truly practical ways to make their farms more productive. Ways that are very low cost and low risk and that are based on their own experiences with nurturing trees along with their crops in their own farming systems. A range of effective solutions involving these farmer-inspired cropping systems have already been identified. Millions of smallholders in Southern and West Africa have successfully returned unproductive soils to farmlands. But huge challenges remain. If the hundreds of millions more families who now face poverty because of degrading environments are also to benefit, these techniques now have to be adapted and spread throughout the continent. Rural populations in Africa used to be small and thinly spread. Farmers had access to abundant land so could shift production to new plots when their soils wore out. Ah, shabet ne kugusa mitengo, shabuti kai de kulinga na mwamba watu chimuntu. Tika kugusa mitengo, paja beta shoka chui shema na shapaja. Pepe pana kwenye kamanga pepe kushoka chimanga chambi ni maningi. Ni atis ni 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 chichina chifuka chini chini. But in the last half century, the balance has dramatically changed. Nearly a hundred years of farming advice has led to wide-scale tree clearance. Mushrooming populations mean farms are now usually less than a hectare and there is no spare land. Changing climates are intensifying rainstorms, heat and winds, adding to the environmental degradation. Overworked exposed soils are being blown or washed away causing declining crop yields and threatening growing numbers of families who now can't produce enough food for the entire year with farming. Over the last few decades, scientists have struggled to develop an approach to improve agriculture. As part of this, they observed that the few remaining African farmers who integrated selected trees in their crop fields had better harvests. This realization marked a breakthrough. As the researchers started working with these small groups, evidence of related success arrived in many forms from across Africa. In Malawi, two decades of work by the World Agroforestry Center is reversing falling maize harvests. Mm -hmm. 
The center has combined farmer knowledge with research to pinpoint a wide array of useful trees and propagation methods that cheaply improve yields and help farmers become self-sufficient in fuel, fruit, fertilizer and fodder. Systems to speed production of seeds and seedlings have been tested successfully. In Zambia, the National Farmers Union developed and are promoting conservation agriculture by combining zero tillage with crop rotation and the use of crop residues to protect and improve soils. They also encourage the use of indigenous African acacia trees as a natural fertilizer. Climate change is happening and we need to provide support for African countries to more effectively deal with it. And what we have seen so far is that uh, conservation agriculture is providing a more resilient uh, agriculture system. Farmers of all kinds are improving their incomes. <laughs> Recently, dramatic evidence is also coming from the overfarmed croplands of West Africa where farmer-managed natural regeneration of local tree types is reversing 50 years of tree cutting and desertification. During the past 20 years, these farmer regenerated agroforests have spread across millions of hectares in Senegal, Mali, Burkina Faso, and Niger. Because all these combinations of trees and crops re-establish a useful green cover on the land all year, the approach is called evergreen agriculture. The whole evergreen agriculture is based on traditional farmer knowledge. The farmers have developed with their environment. They have seen which trees help them. They have seen which trees are destructive to their systems. But only a few million farmers are benefiting so far. Rolling the concept out across the whole continent will need work at multiple levels, bringing many new challenges. This is not a simple thing. It requires quite a lot of sensitization of the public, sensitization of the farmers, the policy makers. It also has policy implications because historically much of the planning has been based on conventional practices. If we have to scale up to the entire country, then we really need to increase the numbers of agriculture extension staff very, very significantly. The main challenge has been resource shortages. That's why we have to talk of empowering the farmers themselves to increase the coverage. Africa's environments are hugely diverse. People from different places need the choice of different tree crop combinations, and this is being researched. 
so new species can be introduced to new areas to create income generating opportunities. Wana sa savan zamani mu dai da shekara ta kai bakwai muka faru wannan sa savan zamani. Mar cikin kashi 100 kashi 90 kowane sa savan zamani yake. Shi sa savan zamani ba sai da kudi ba. Hikima kanka ne dan ka ci amfanin abun gonar ka ne shine in ka zo katar da kamar kaba wadda take na gari wadda za ka yi amfani da ita. governments and civic organizations are spreading information about these farmer led successes to speed changes and increase public understanding farmers are being encouraged to help other farmers access messages research into improved seed germination and seedling production techniques is continuing to provide more effective ways to propagate the trees Science continues to research the characteristics of trees in order to overcome more climate and environmental problems. Researchers are also working with government decision makers to create policies that support evergreen agriculture across the region. Governments throughout Africa are now launching their own national evergreen agriculture programs to bring these benefits to their rural populations. This will accelerate collaboration among nations and development partners which in turn should encourage greater investments to speed up the transformation. Though there is much left to do, the evergreen agriculture vision now exists. Regreening in Africa is going to take decades to accomplish, but we are very encouraged by the rapid progress that we have seen over the past 20 years in many countries in Africa. These are the buds, the green shoots of a movement that is gaining more and more momentum every day. Evergreen agriculture plans for a future that includes more environmentally sound farming. Much food crop production will take place under a full canopy of trees and the current fields of sterile crop monocultures will be replaced by greener landscapes with a richer more sustainable biodiversity. This land management system will result in a more climate smart agriculture that benefits farmers by increasing their harvests as well as allowing them to adapt more easily to growing droughts and other severe climate changes. The stage is now set for an increasingly prosperous agricultural framework in Africa. One that should bring green back to the farms of even the poorest farming families.